In this video, we're going to guide you through the process of connecting a single AccuVox EC33 elevator control terminal to two separate elevator cabs in a building of no more than 16 floors. It is important to note that the EC33 must be installed at the top of the building. If you're working with AccuVox or planning to do so, it's crucial that you collaborate with Global Visions INC. If you are a property manager, we will help ensure that you're working with a genuine, certified installer. If you are an installer or looking to become a certified installer, we will ensure that you are purchasing through an authorized distributor who provides the best technical support to ensure your success. For this project, we will need the elevator controller, AccuVox EC33, elevator button panels, and a flathead screwdriver. Now, let's take a look at the detailed wiring diagram in a 16-floor setup, the 17th relay output on the EC33 controller is configured for the first floor in the second elevator cab, and so on for higher floors. For instance, if a resident lives on the second floor, they should be granted access to the second relay, which is elevator 1, and the 18th relay, which is elevator 2. This configuration enables access to the desired floor using either cab. To change the working status of the EC33 to NO, adjust the connector accordingly. This setting allows the elevator button to light up only when pressed. If set to NC, the button remains lit and will only turn off when pressed. Suppose a resident has permission for the second floor. You would connect button 2's wires to the COM18 and NO terminals on the EC33. Tug gently on the wires to secure a connection. Before pressing any buttons, ensure the system is powered on. If your installation involves an actual elevator button panel, please follow the detailed wiring diagram above. Repeat the same steps for connecting the second set of terminals. Next, we'll proceed with configuring the elevator control feature via the device's web interface. First, access the EC33 web interface by logging in with the default credentials. Username and password are both admin. Navigate to device, then relay interface. Locate open relay via HTTP and enable it. Input the username and password, which for this example remains admin. Click submit to save these settings. Then we will show you the configuration the door phone. We will take R29 for example. Log into the device's web interface with the default admin credentials. Under the Intercom tab, go to Lift Control and select AccuVox EC32 in the Lift Control list. Enter the IP address of EC33 in Server IP field. Enter 80, which is the default value, in Port field. The command should be prefilled. Just set the username and password to match those of the EC33. In this case, they are admin. To enable resident elevator control, go to Intercom, then User Interface. Here, click Add to set up access methods. Then, manually input a card code or automatically read one with a card reader. Scroll to Access Setting and specify the floors that residents are allowed to access. Here, click Submit to save the changes. After completing the configurations on the web interface, Use pre-configured access methods and press the button in either elevator cab to access the desired floor. If you have any questions about AccuVox, please contact us at globalvisionsinc.com.